Uh, this is the third video segment on 3D, 3D sweep that I'm uh, preparing. Uh, the first one dealt with a very simple geometry, which was a, a rectangular cross section, which was padded. So basically, it's a cantilever beam. Think about it as a cantilever beam with a, a, a rectangular cross section. The second one was a prismatic structure, so something like a pyramid, four-sided pyramid, as in pyramids of Egypt. The top was truncated. So it was a little bit more, uh, uh, more complicated. The last one that I want to do is actually an arbitrary, uh, let's say, bent rod, uh, square cross section. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, circular cross section. And I want to show show you that sometimes you may have to uh, uh, make some adjustments in the process that you did for the first two examples. Okay. So let's start with a uh, part file. All right. Okay, so uh, on a convenient plane, let's draw a, a, uh, a spline. What I want to do is I want to make uh, the cross section being perpendicular to this uh, to the spine. So this is the spine or the center curve, if you want. Okay, now I want to draw a circle here and then not pad it, but rib it. So uh, the best way of doing this is, uh, first of all, creating a plane, which is normal to a curve. This is the curve, and this is the place where I want to keep it. Now on that plane, I will go and draw a circle. which starts from that uh, center point, exit, okay, and then uh, we can rib it, rib, the profile is right here, the center curve is there, so we get some kind of a bent rod, something like that. All right, what I would like to do now is to create a shell mesh here, a nice uh, four-sided, for example, uh, elements and then sweep that along that uh, along that uh, object okay so in order to create a shell first of all I am uh, going to extract that face uh, let's switch to wireframe and surface design or generative shape design extract this face there we are so we now have a surface at this end okay and then we, uh, we're done here, so we're going to go to generative, uh, uh, we're going to go to analysis, advanced machine tools, advanced machine tools. Okay, I didn't put any material on it because uh, we're not going to be solving a problem. Or maybe we will at the end, I find it a problem. Right now, I just want to generate a mesh, the mesh that I, uh, that I wish to do. So uh, let's see now, uh, advanced machine tool right there. Surface measure. Okay, you have remember you have the regular three-sided uh, element, this which is also available in generative structure analysis. We have a surface measure. We have advanced surface measure, which I can do a little bit more. So I'll do surface surface measure of that, and then uh, I have no idea what these sizes are. So let's make this thing 0.25, and then we say okay, and now we're going to zap it. Zap meaning mesh it with this icon, okay? This icon is in the toolbar execution. Okay, now the problem is that uh, uh, I actually accidentally took the entire face, which I don't want to. So we say, okay, uh, we're gonna uh, delete this mesh. This was a bad idea, delete the mesh, okay? Let's go do it again. This time be careful. So we're going to say surface measure. Make sure you select this face, not the face of the object, okay? So right there. And uh, 0.25, that's good. Let's do this. Okay, and measure. All right, good. Actually, you know what? I uh, would like to make this thing uh, a little bit coarser. So double-click on it again. First of all, exit exit that workbench. 
oops, double click on this, and I'll make it point uh, seven. There's a reason, coarser, and mesh, right there. There is a reason. Okay, we say okay, good. Now uh, we exit. So now you're going to look at the sweep. Here's the sweep icon right there, sweep 3D. So uh, first, bottom left corner, select the object. Bottom face is this face here. Top face is the face over there. OK. Now, let me say compute here. OK and then apply. Okay. First of all, notice that this guide curve, this guide curve, right, this guide curve, starts at this corner point, and this guide curve also is close enough to that corner point. Okay? So let me say cancel. Okay? So what I want to do is I want to double click on this, double click on this, and this time, make this thing, for example, uh, maybe one. I want to do it so that the guide curve is far away from one of the corners. Let's see if this thing will do it. Of course, these are horrible elements. Exit. Right. Uh, let me see now. One guide curve is there. The other guide curve. Oh, this is also going to work. I want to come with a situation where the guide curve is actually uh, not a corner point. There's no problem here. We can sweep this. Uh, okay, so uh, first of all, the object is this. This is the bottom face. This is the top face. Let's compute it. There's two guides here. That's what's going to use both of those guides. My plan is to show you when is it that you have to let one of these guide curves go. This will also probably work. Now, by the way, here I set three layers, so I don't know, make it uh, nine, whatever. I should leave it as three. That's fine. Apply. And okay. All right. So uh, we have it. Uh, in fact, if I hide the part, you have an ugly mesh like that. Now, let's do another one. Let's go back here. Let me delete this. We'll go back here. Double click on this. Uh, make it uh, 1.5. And mesh it. Now, I'm hoping that the guide curve will not be a corner point. We'll see. Let's say fine. Exit. And then uh, sweep it. Let me show my part here, which is in hiding. Okay, so first is the object. Bottom is this, top, okay, uh, where's the top, top is right here, and uh, two guys carries are used, still these are corner point. This is also going to work, but I wanted to show you one that actually did not work. So, uh, uh, yeah, okay, this is going to work, no problem. Let's try another one. Uh, let's go back here. Let me make this thing point three, point four. Zap it. All right. Okay. Where is the part? There is the part. Let's do a sweep mesh. 
uh, exit this, sweep the object, the bottom, the top, and compute. Both guys are going to use apply right here. Okay. So notice that this one, this time it failed. And let's see what the problem is. So if you zoom in, if you zoom in, you notice that this guide curve that is being used in all the several cases that I did right before this, the, the guide curve always was either at a corner point or close to a corner point. So here, this guide curve is causing a problem because, let me see for a second, uh, let's zoom in. For this one, no problem, it starts at the corner, but this one is somewhere in the middle. So what I would like to do, I want to say exclude some guide curve, and I want to exclude this other, other guide curve, the one on the other side. So let me rotate this, I want to exclude this guide curve, and if there's a problem, just hide this and select it right there. And we say OK, and now we say Apply. All right. Let's see for a second. Was that the one? Right. Let me go to Mesh. Say, in, uh, say Tolerance Initialize. And now Apply. Apply. 